Hello, this is Brian, and today I'm going to talk about module scripts. So, in the last video, we made a health pack that, amongst other things, healed you. And one of the functions that we had to perform to heal the player was taking the, apart from the player and finding the humanoid inside of the player model. This is something that you actually do quite often, and that's where module scripts can come in handy. Module scripts are used to, as global functions. Use them everywhere, all the time. These are basic helper things that aren't uh, specific to a, sp a certain script. To use a module script, let's first um, insert one into the workspace. Now you notice that it doesn't say hello world or what you're used to seeing. It says local module. What's that? This is a table. I'm pretty sure it's called a table. This stores all of the functions that will be inside of module and then it returns um, all the functions inside the module. So to put a function into the module, we say function module dot and then whatever function name is going to be. So we're going to say git humanoid, I guess. Oh, and other part. Okay, so basically how you make this script is, I'm not going to explain since this is about modules more. So local human equals um, other part dot parent find first child humanoid return actually we don't even have to do that we can just return this return other part the parent all that okay so now we can use this in any other scripts in our game with a caveat um there's something else we have to do to set it up, but it's easy, so don't worry about it. Um, I'm going to insert a part in here that when the player touches it, it will print the player into the, the chat log. Or, nah, that's, that's boring. It sets the brick color to something. Yeah, let's do that. So, let's make a regular script. And we're going to get the part. Then we're going to say part. Touched. Connect function part. Okay, now in order to use the function that we put in this module script, we have to get the address for the module script. But we kind of, you do something sp uh, yeah, specific for that. So I'll call this func. Actually, I, my convention is I like to capitalize um, my module scripts. So func, then workspace dot. Well, why isn't workspace working? Oh, lowercase. Okay, workspace dot module script. So, sorry, I, I forgot to do the most important part. So, you type in require, and this means that the script, uh, to my understanding, this means that the script will not continue until it gets this. So when the game first starts up and it's still loading things, this might, this has a chance of loading before the module script does. So there can be problems there so putting this require here clears up any of that nonsense so now we can use the function inside of module script with func git humanoid oh it even showed a little tooltip there for it so git humanoid other part and we're going to set that to our own local human function um so if human then part dot brick color equals Brick color dot red. That should work. So let's play and touch this. And yep, it turned red when the player hit it. Now, just to prove that um, it's getting the humanoid and it's just not doing that because it's got touched, we're going to. Uh, we could drop a block on it. Yeah, let's do that. So I'll take this brick that doesn't have a humanoid in it and not anchored and nothing happened but if i were to place a humanoid in here humanoid i don't know why it doesn't let you insert humanoids into parts but whatever why doesn't that work oh <laughs> this has to be inside of a model because it's getting the part and the parent and then the humanoid so uh i'm going to model this and then we're going to put both of these things in the same spot so now, there we go, it turned red. So that shows that the module script is actually working. So 
Module scripts are very useful for functions that you're going to reuse all the time, so you don't have to keep rewriting them. It saves tons of time. If you want to make a game within this millennium, they're a very invaluable tool. So that's module scripts. Thank you for watching.